All right, let's talk about repairs today. Just had something, actually the second thing in a short amount of time, but there's a key difference in contracts on what, when you're going through a transaction, whether you're on the buy side, mostly the buy side and the seller side, on what you would like to be repaired in, through an inspection versus what is required to be repaired. And I find more and more that I can tell that whether it be buyers or sellers, they're not walking through this in advance with their agents in advance of inspections, kind of setting the expectation on either side on how that goes. And look, I get it. I know that buyers can just, they're welcome to ask for anything, okay? But I think that what's important is, is that if they get a no on something that's not a requirement, in a lot of cases, depending on how it's negotiated, they can't just simply walk away because they didn't get what they wanted. I mean, there's a there's an outline to a contract that governs a respectable relationship between the buyer and seller on how those items can and cannot be repaired if they're required, et cetera. Most of the time it comes down to negotiation beyond the fact, whether it goes over a inspection limit you set. Now look, if it's as is, if it's an as is contract and they make a request and the seller doesn't want to do it, then yes, that would be more or less an opportunity for the buyer to exit. But I'm just, I, I want everybody to understand what the actual, if it's not an as is contract, what the actual contract reads in terms of what the requirements are, and then make sure that the agents actually talk to each other prior to this as well to make sure they're on the understanding of what is required. A lot of times we run into trouble with, you know, I may have an agent call me and they say that, you know, we're going to ask for this because it's it's a warrantable item or and, and it's not. They have the wrong expectation or how that's supposed to go. So it's healthy for the agents to talk ahead of time to make sure that both of you are on the same page with actually what that paragraph or paragraph or two in a contract reads. Because I find that in negotiation, once you get past the price, the inspection items are the absolute number one thing that can get in the way of everything moving forward smoothly and without emotion. But with communication up front by buyer's agent talking to buyer, selling agent talking to seller, an agent talking to agent, before that inspection happens, we can avoid a lot of this. Things are gonna come up, things are gonna get surprised, but if everybody kinda knows the playing field, we can work through them to satisfy both parties. But I'm seeing it more and more, and it's equal part of, let's just throw it out there and ask for it, but then there's emotions involved when maybe it's not required to be repaired, but they weren't told that, and then we've got to kind of walk backwards through that transaction. So just a helpful hint. We once we make it to that price, we should be should be happy and just ready to handle anything that comes up, but I do find that the inspection side ends up being where more emotions come up than any other part of the transaction. Have fun out there.